Hey guys, welcome to Let's Get Drunk and Play Chivalry Medieval Warfare. Uh, this is, uh, the Let's Get Drunk and Play is a series that I haven't revisited for a very long time. In fact, since I was very new at Let's Playing, and I made, uh, you know, something I'm not necessarily <laughs> totally proud of with uh, Left 4 Dead 2. But I'm going to try it again with Chivalry Medieval Warfare. This is a game, if you haven't seen my first look at this game, I recommend going to check that out before you watch this video. Not necessarily because you won't be able to understand what's going on, I don't want to insert, insult anybody's intelligence like that, but uh, you know, you'll get a sort of a broader context for the game and my thoughts on it, and as well as the mechanics. So, you know, if you don't understand that screen I just was in where I was selecting my equipment, maybe that's a sign you should go and check out the, uh, the first look. But anyway, this is a game I've been playing a ton in my spare time, and I thought, you know what, why the fuck not just record myself playing it, um, and, you know, get some videos knocked out at the same time as I am enjoying myself playing games in my own spare time. So, I am spawning as a Vanguard here. I've been working on the unlock progression for the Vanguard. I am on Agatha. Okay, good. I had to, like, look at my shoulder there to make sure I was on the blue team and I didn't have to go fuck those dudes' day up. Um, so we are trying to stop these guys. This, the idea behind this, uh, objective mission is that the, uh, Masons are trying to push this, uh, corpse wagon into our cistern and poison our water supply. And we obviously, for obvious reasons, we don't want that to happen. So there, I think these are plagued corpses with the bubonic plague. And, uh, we definitely do not want to lose our entire water supply to, uh, contamination. So we need to stop these guys from pushing the corpse cart. It's very similar to in the Let's Look at they were pushing like a what was that the uh, the battering ram. Let's take this guy out. If I, oh god, dude came out of nowhere. Oh man, that was a killer shot. Somebody shot me with an arrow like right past his own teammate. That is uh, that's impressive. My hats off to the the archer responsible for that because I was probably gonna take out one of his buddies if he did not. Take, sh take action there. <clears throat> but anyway, so we're on the defending team. We need to stop them from completing the objectives, obviously, and they are trying to push that cart. Uh, but anyway, I've been working on the unlock progression of the, the long swords. Now that my like unlocks are finally fixed, because as I mentioned in the first look at, like for a long time, that was not something... Oh! oh just, just two guys just hit me! I'm sorry, <laughs> I was just trying to help... Uh, we, they have so many fucking archers. This is, this is terrible news for us. Yeah, we just need to dodge and weave. Or bob and weave. Just get in here. Oh, man, and here come the vanguards as well. Oh, <laughs> the fucking tree! Oh, God, this is, this is bad. They have, they have a lot of, uh, archers just kind of holding our attention. Because if we, you know, they aren't necessarily a threat by themselves, but if they you know, keep us distracted like they have been then that's bad news for us we should probably just camp by the corpse wagon honestly let me pull out some throwing axes see, see if I can do any damage here oh that was so close yeah that, was, that second one was poor I'm not sure why I threw it I should have saved it for later could go grab ammo I think I will after this fight Oh, probably got hit by my own teammate there oh fuck where did you come from try it motherfucker just try it. Oh, that that other guy tried it. That was pretty good. Man, so so far this is going pretty goddamn awful. Again, every every single time I record like a multiplayer game, I, it just looks like I suck dick at it because of a combination of like bad luck and just, you know, I'm playing in a small window again so that I can uh, record properly. Let's sneak up behind this archer and see if I can't remove his head. Well, I didn't remove his head, but I did remove his arm. Which I'll take it. This guy's gonna try to shoot me down on my way to him. Oh, come on! Yeah, I will say the charging attack for the Vanguard is a little bit uh, awkward sometimes. No, they got the corpse wagon through while I was fucking with the archers. Oh, man. Oh, that guy had some killer aim. You know what? I'm gonna spawn as an archer. I'm sick of dealing with them. Let's try to get the war bow unlocked if at all possible so I'm gonna play with the short bow the short bow uh, you know in the uh, in the first look I used a long bow which is really good at uh, longer range combat the short bow is nice it, it has like significantly slower projectile speed which effectively means that you have to deal with drop a lot more when you're shooting 
and like timing your shots, but when you're close up, you can fire much more quickly and for only a little bit less damage really, so it's uh it's good for close range combat. Oh fuck, where did that even come from? Where did you come from? I hate you. <laughs> okay. Let's see if I can't Oh my god, that didn't hit him. Where are these guys coming from? There must be another way through that I'm not aware of. That was actually really weird. Okay, so I lost my head there a little bit. Haha. <laughs> Get it, because my, my head was severed from my my torso. Anyway. Uh so we need I need to stop sucking dick at the game is what needs to go on here. Again, it's it makes a surprising difference to play a game in a smaller window. I cannot wait until uh, Black Friday or uh, Cyber Monday, I should say, this year, which is the Monday after Black Friday and celebrated by online retailers primarily. Uh, I'm going to upgrade my computer significantly, probably spend in the realm of $500, $600 on new computer equipment, Jesus Christ, so that I can uh, do much higher quality recordings in uh, full screen. Because I have a, a fairly large monitor and I'm not able to take advantage of it when I am uh, recording. Oh, don't throw your throwing at Who the fuck hit me? Where did you come from? Nuka Cola, go back to Fallout 3. This is an embarrassment. I'm not this drunk. I'm kind of drunk, but I'm, I'm not drunk enough that I can't fucking hit anybody. 2 and 7, that's the worst I've ever done in this game, period. So I'll drink some more. That'll obviously solve any problems I may be having. Um, well yeah, this is kind of the theme, I think, of uh, the Let's Get Drunk and Play. If I ever continue this series... Oh, let's shoot this guy in his fucking... Oh, okay. Just, just... Let's everybody just calm down. Yeah! Cut his head off with a dagger. Fuck you, buddy. There we go. And one more. Oh, so close! All I had to do was draw back the string just a couple more inches and I had him. Oh well. I killed somebody and that makes me feel a little bit better about myself. I swear to god, like earlier tonight I was playing this game and I went like 20 and 3 as a vanguard. It was just, it was absurd. And as soon as I start recording again, just shitty play by me. And unlucky. I've been getting people like sneaking up behind me in ways that I don't really understand how they even managed it. Which could have to do, I guess, with my uh, incredibly low uh, resolution. Oh, don't do it! Don't! Oh, I was holding down my block button just waiting to get my dagger all the way out, but it didn't happen there. And again, I don't... that guy snuck up on me. And uh, yeah, I guess part of that is probably that I have a lower field of view from having a smaller window, which is kind of shitty. Again, I almost like avoid recording games like this for this very reason. I just need to need to buy my GTX 670 or 660 Ti. I haven't decided which yet. Then I'm gonna be. That felt like a headshot. Oh, that was a headshot. Sorry, bro. Oh fuck. That guy one shot me. You can't do that. Gotta chop off my head. He didn't. He, he didn't get a, a beheading or anything. He just walked up to me, hit me with his sword once, and I was dead. It's surprising. I didn't know that was possible, actually. He must have the, like, third level of unlock that I'm going for as well. Maybe it does a little bit more damage. Because I know for a fact that that is impossible with uh, any weapons that I have. Oh, just kill steal. Oh well, that's fine. I'm playing for the team, I'm not playing for myself. That's my excuse for my terrible kill death ratio. I saw a guy over here. Oh, there he is. Oh, yeah, that's that's a good call. Just bury an arrow in that stone pillar. Okay, there's going to be somebody sneaking up on me. I can, like, guarantee it. Oh, here we go. Oh, come on. I hit him, and... Oh, that was really close to actually hitting my teammate. I gotta be careful here. Oh, fuck you. Again, just flanked. Oh, well. I was helping my team. That's fine with me. I don't think I've TK'd at all this round, which is actually pretty good for this game. It's really difficult to avoid, or I shouldn't say TK'd, but I don't think I've hurt a teammate yet this game, which is incredibly difficult to do in this game, because like I said, 
one of the, the biggest aspects of this game that's unusual for games today is the incredible prevalence of accidental TKing. It's so fucking easy if you're in a big... Oh, where did you come from? He just came up the stairs and I didn't see him. Uh, I don't want my computer up here. Oh, there's... I thought I heard so. Oh, man, that was a killer shot right through my face. And uh, my guy, in retaliation, like, held his chest. But whatever. <laughs> Good headshot. I applaud you, sir. Let's get back to the battle. Hopefully it's not too boring just watching somebody fail at chivalry. I really am not usually terrible at this game. And like I said, like, this is... I might even like this game more than Natural Selection, which feels weird to say. Because, like, Natural Selection clearly, clearly has way more, um... Oh, fuck. Way more, uh, effort and balance put into it. It's not nearly as glitchy. It's just... Natural Selection is an objectively better game than Chivalry. However, I just really fucking enjoy playing Chivalry. Somebody's voice chatting. I, the voice chat in this game is totally shitty. I've never been able to, like, make out what somebody's saying to me in voice chat, so I never use it, obviously. Because I think it's just, a, like, a netcode issue. The compression makes it impossible to translate what anybody's saying. So we're just going to hang out by the corpse cart here. They might actually lose just because they're not uh, focusing on the corpse cart. Instead, they're focusing on, like, cutting off my head repeatedly. Oh, come on. They're... One really annoying thing about this game is there's like a limit to how long you can keep a an arrow drawn. And if you expire that limit, like you have to pull out a whole new arrow and everything, you go through the whole animation. That's annoying. Oh, I killed somebody there. Oh, duh, damn it. If somebody manages to get up on you while you uh like before you've switched your weapon, they're basically in the home stretch. It's almost impossible for an archer to come back from that because you can't block with your bow obviously so you have to you have to wait for the whole animation to go through of putting away your bow. I'm gonna actually switch to back to the vanguard because I've had enough of archery. This is often how it goes for me when I'm doing what I consider to be poorly. I'll just let, be like man if only I was this other class I would be doing so much better and then of course I switch my class and I do just as shitty but it, it feels you know, it's a it's a comfort thing. I just stop being comfortable with the archer after I've died with it like a million times in a row. Oh! Don't do it. Oh, what are you doing, man? Don't just- <laughs> that dude was trying to punch this guy! He jumped in front of me to punch him. And then I lagged out and died somehow <laughs> that I couldn't see because... I don't know. Hopefully that's like something that really happened and not something that's just me being drunk and I like missed a few frames, but to me it looked like I was swinging my sword and then suddenly like there was a jump in the animation and then I died and I don't know what happened. Uh, let's come up and stab this dude from behind. Stabbing, really good. If you're playing this game, biggest tip I can give you, fucking stab people when you are um, in a team combat. That guy's got some javelins, which could be a problem. Javelins do a shit ton of damage, but you can only carry like eight of them. And they don't fly very far. Come back here, knight. Come back here. But yeah, anyway, if you have a bunch of teammates around, it's all about the stab. It's very precise. It's, it's not easy to TK with a stab compared to uh, a slash. So I always tell people who are having big problems with TKing, just use your stab, you dangus. It helps a lot. Once I figured that out, I like TK'd a million times less. I'm actually pretty good about not TKing in this game compared to most people. Like, a lot of the time you'll see people, especially people who have unlocked the halberd, they're just fucking like, they don't give a fuck, man. <laughs> they will kill indiscriminately. Oh, that's something, too. I, I think the knight has a maul that's supposed to be pretty powerful uh, that you have to unlock. Maybe I'll work toward that as well. Oh, get, get out of my way! That's like the rare exception when somebody like jumps right in front of your stab. Stop hitting! Use your Q key, you dangus! By the way, Q is like uh, canceling your swing. So if somebody dies that you're swinging at and you have teammates around, you should probably just hit the Q key and cut your losses there. Oh! Oh, man! I'm actually really surprised that guy managed to give me. Let's drink a little bit more. Maybe I'll do a little bit better. I feel, I feel like things are picking up. I had a bad, I had a shaky start at the beginning. I'm not gonna 
sugarcoat that at all, but I uh, feel like we're on the up and up. Making more su uh, successful uh, blocks and stabs or uh, and attacks. Oh, don't! What are you doing, man? Where did you even come from? There we go. Nice little double kill for me. Get away from me, man. Oh, man, how did that not get blocked? That's, I don't agree with that. It is so much harder to block at a lower frame rate, I've noticed. Um, it's not something I noticed before, obviously, because I have a pretty stable frame rate. But uh, once I started recording, I was like, holy shit. Like, I get hit by block key, and it, there's a delay of a, a few crucial milliseconds, because timing is key in blocking. Oh, that, oh, that was a killer arrow, man. High five. I really want a high five animation sometimes in this game when somebody just does something amazing. Oh, shit. Homo. That, that was really, uh, that was pretty incredible, actually. If I didn't have such low health right there, I probably would have just steamrolled over the, those guys. But unfortunately, that one stab was enough to take me out. Make sure they're not pushing the corpse wagon. This guy is going to try to push the corpse wagon. Can't let that happen. We need that water. Okay, that guy just got shot. The other guy's dead. Excellent. We're doing pretty well. I I haven't. I don't think I've ever been in a game where they failed to get the corpse wagon to the cistern yet. Um, so if we manage to stop this, that's pretty impressive for our team. Not necessarily for me, because obviously I haven't been an instrumental part of that, but, uh, for whoever is, like, leading our team. I find often in multiplayer games, there's, like, those one or two guys on a team who are just, like, tearing shit up, and then everybody else is, like, doing terrible. And that's true for both teams, though. So it's, like, you have the, the good players, and then the, uh, not-so-good player. Oh! Sorry, man. <laughs> I, oh! What was that even for? That guy shot an arrow at me. I can't imagine what he was trying to hit. Oh, well. It almost feels good when you're TK'd at low health, because it's like, at least it wasn't my fault, you know? Again, somebody's trying to use the voice chat to no effect. I have no idea what the dude just said. He's like, oh, rip, 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 rip. I'm gonna hang out with this crossbowman for a second. Oh, shit. <laughs> I accidentally hit my teammate instead of this guy. There we go. Oh, come on. That wasn't my kill? It's unbelievable. Yeah, nice try, buddy. Oh, get out of my way. I have a giant sword. What are you thinking? Oh, come on. Oh, well. We're doing well, though. Hey, buddy. You want to try it? You want to come try for this corpse wagon? I'm going to throw some axes at your face. Earlier tonight, I, like, nailed somebody right in his fucking face with an axe. It felt really good. How did that axe not hit him? That's an example of the terrible hit detection in this game. That axe went right through his fucking chest. Did no damage to him. Oh, well. How am I doing? 10 and 20? My god. Seriously the worst round I've ever had in Chivalry. But, you know. I've got the odds stacked against me. Low frame rate. Have to provide commentary. Uh, and I'm drunk. This guy has no chance, though, I don't think, anyway. He shouldn't. He's not very good. He didn't block my initial strike, which makes me think that he is kind of... Oh, fuck. But his teammates... Yeah. His teammates can come in and fuck me up. That sucks. If it was a one-on-one, -on -one, I would have had that guy no problem. But, of course, people came in and knocked my face in. Let's just play as... Oh, yeah, wow. We <laughs> they didn't even get the corpse wagon in. That is uh, pretty terrible. I'll say good gee. <laughs> good gee. <laughs> I meant to say GG. I don't know why I said good gee, but now it's too late. I can't type. Oh, well, 10 and 21. Wow. That's pretty poor. Yeah, that's uh, it's one of the worst uh, scores on that match. Last night, or uh, not last night, earlier tonight I was playing on a team. It was like three on three, and one of our three was going one in 25. And I was like, no wonder we're fucking losing. So I, I want to play as a knight for a little while. I want to unlock some of the higher uh, unlocks past the Warhammer, which I've obviously not had a chance to do yet. Um, because, you know. 
I haven't really played as a knight very much ever since they fixed the ability to have unlocks. If you watch my... Oh, I don't really like this map very much, but oh well. The idea here is we got these boats coming in, and uh, our goal is to first light a signal fire just so our boats know where to go, apparently, even though... You know, they're kind of already here, so I don't really understand that part. But, uh... <clears throat> after that part... We have to, like, destroy their, um... Ballistas, so they can't shoot down our boats. And then we have to... I think it's actually better to use a hammer on this guy. And then we have to, like, shoot down their boats. So they can't defend against us. Oh man. <laughs> this is incredibly poor. Come on! I'm used to the range of my... Oh my god, I'm used to the range of my sword. So every time I swing, I'm like... That didn't hit him? Seriously? Gotta get get used to getting in close again. You know what? I've seen a lot of knights using their like two-handed sword here. The long sword. Maybe I should check that out. People seem to like that, so I'll use longsword and mace instead of the other way around, having the, the war hammer and the short sword. We'll see how that works. <laughs> One complaint I have that I forgot to mention in the first look, like if you want to change your um, your loadout between rounds, then it, for whatever reason, makes you take forever to spawn, like way longer than you should. So yeah, I've never actually used the longsword before. But a lot of people use this, so I assume it must be pretty decent. I'm always partial to the Warhammer, but... You know, that was me as a noob who chose the Warhammer. It's totally possible that I'm just, like, making dumb mistakes there. Kinda can't believe that wasn't my kill, but whatever. So this guy's gonna try to shoot us as we come up toward him, and he's... Oh, uh, yeah, run for it, you motherfucker. Maybe I can get up here and try to do some progress lighting the signal fire. No, nah, this knight's gonna cause a problem for me. Come in here. Should definitely pull out my mace. Oh fuck! <laughs> that was the perfect amount of aggression and running from him. That was actually really clever. He like baited me out, and then his like 5,000 teammates came and smashed my face in. Again, kind of shocked at how poorly I'm doing this in this video. But you know, that's that's a lo let's get drunk and play. It's not. I don't think anybody looks at the title, let's get drunk and play, and expects pro gameplay. So, hopefully you guys don't mind too much that I am, uh, failing. You guys can kind of, like, revel in my failure. You, there's some, there's some, like, shot in Freud there, there's some camaraderie. I, I really shouldn't be, like, rushing these guys. Yeah, try it, motherfucker. Shoot me through the, through the pillar. Yeah, nice shot. Yeah, get out of here. Get out of there. I really, I feel like my team is doing an incredibly poor job right now, uh, in pushing. Oh my god. And my block is just not working. Like, straight up. I blocked twice and neither one worked there. Oh, god. Abysmal play. I gotta get that graphics out. I probably am not gonna do any more gameplay of games like this except for, uh, first looks. Until I get my new graphics card set up, because this is ridiculous. <laughs> my I have a delay on my blocks that's making me impossible, or making it impossible for me to block anything. I, di I didn't intend for this to be like a complainy video, but you know, that's kind of just, that's how, how it is. It's, it's tough, man. I don't know what to do. I'm going to go for this archer while that guy goes for the, uh, the knight. Oh, come on. Are you fucking with me? Get back here, motherfucker. Okay, uh, wow, somebody actually managed to light the signal fire. That surprises the hell out of me, because every time I tried, I was just... Like, fuck that. Okay, I'm getting the shit beaten out of me here. Oh, there's another guy, okay. I'm running for it. Fuck you guys. There, there's a guy coming for you. Oh. Again, my block straight up did not work there. That is annoying as hell. Okay, so we actually did manage to light the signal fire here, which, again, surprising to me, because every time I tried to, like, it, you have to go up those stairs that I was at, where the archer was holding me back, and every time I tried to go up there, I was just like, nope, not working, but that's, 
Okay, one of my teammates is definitely hit me. Oh, no, it isn't. Somebody's... They're still... They didn't decide to spawn forward. That's uh, actually a really strange decision on that other uh, part because they're going to get gang raped in our spawn. Yep, there it goes. <laughs> okay. Uh, so I think he, like, threw a throwing knife at me or something. Um... But anyway, yeah, that's often how that first part goes. One dude sneaks up there and the the defending team doesn't realize and then they just totally um What am I trying to say here? They they just like the dude can just sit there and light the signal fire and nobody realizes because there's no indication on the attacking or the uh yeah, on the defending team that your signal fire is like on fire. So you you need somebody to keep an eye on it, and nobody wants to be that guy. Everybody wants to be in the action, right? So nobody watches the signal fire, and then uh, before you know it, you've lost the first objective. So now we're trying to take down these trebuchets, as I mentioned earlier, to stop them from uh, like taking out our boat so that we can get reinforcements in here. That's the story element. It's not like we really get reinforcements when we take down the trebuchets, but... We do move on to the next objective. Oh man, that was poor. This guy has a halberd. Oh, and my uh, again, my block straight up does not. Oh, never mind. Somebody crossbowed me there, which is actually really impressive. Uh, I did not expect that. Um, I don't remember what I was talking about before that. Oh, I was saying that that guy has a halberd, which is that one weapon that uh, I've heard people saying is imbalanced. Like, everything else seems very balanced in the game. It's not like you're going to have a huge disadvantage against another guy unless they have a halberd. Uh, halberd is widely regarded to be the most overpowered because it has an incredible range. And it's actually pretty fast, and it kills in two hits. So it's like, why would you not use it? Um, but it's not that great. You can still block it like any other... Um, weapon. That I can't believe how badly that fight with that archer went. That's poor. Okay, this is this is a little bit deadly. I'm gonna pull out some throwing axes here. I can't believe neither of those hit! That's garbage! And I gave this guy the idea. This guy again has a halberd. Are you fucking with me? <laughs> I can't believe that shit just happened. Oh well. So I think, you know, it's not too important to show, like, an entire round of chivalry. The uh, the objectives are pretty much just tacked on to give you a context for uh, combat. And we're coming up on uh, what I feel like is a good ending point for this video. So uh, after this life, I think I'm going to call it quits. So we'll see how long I can last. Every once in a while, I manage to pull off some pretty amazing lives. So we'll see what happens. But I don't think it's going to happen in this video between, you know, performance issues and just me being a drunk idiot. We'll see what happens. There's a knight back here who I would love to destroy. He's got a uh, battle axe, which is actually an incredibly poor uh, weapon in my experience anyway. So we'll see. Ah, my kill was stolen. You asshole. So where are you guys going? We have to stand next to the trebuchet. You fucking assholes. You need two people to take down the trebuchet. Okay, excellent. We did take it down because somebody else came to. Oops. Somebody else came to help me out there. And we did take down the trebuchet. So let's get over to this last trebuchet and see if I can take down this guy. He looks pretty bloody. I think I can take him. Bring it on, motherfucker. Oh my god. Uh, are you kidding me? My blocks are not working at all. Okay, that one worked. Oh man, clutch throwing axe out of nowhere. I have no idea who threw that. That's incredible. I was like tangled up with two of their guys and they managed to sneak a throwing axe in there. Good on them. That's an incredible shot. But anyway, like I said earlier, I think that's going to be our last round or our last life of the... Uh, of the first episode of Let's Get Drunk and Play Chivalry. Let me know if you enjoyed this video. And uh, if a lot of people liked it, maybe I'll do another one in the future. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.